In the battlefield of life, we all face giants, towering fears, daunting challenges, and overwhelming circumstances that seem unconquerable. But remember David, the shepherd boy who faced the giant Goliath with a sling and a stone, fueled by faith in God. He triumphed, as reminded in 1 Samuel 17. This story isn't just from a tale from the past. It's a call to each of us today. It's a reminder that no giant is too big when God is on our side. As the psalmist so confidently declared in Psalm 27 verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now, if you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Every giant you face presents an opportunity, not for defeat, but for victory, not for fear but for faith, when worries tower over you like insurmountable mountains. Remember, these are the moments that can define you. They are your chance to witness God's power at work in your life. Just as David declared his faith before facing Goliath, let your faith be known. Stand firm and know that your giant, no matter how terrifying, can be defeated. But how do you confront your giants? It starts with the battle in the mind. Every negative thought, every whisper of doubt is a stone the enemy uses to build your giant. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, as echoed in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4 and 5. Replace fear with faith, doubt with certainty, and anxiety with peace. Remember, the battle is not just in the field, it's in the mind. And facing your giants, preparation is key. David didn't face Goliath on a whim. He was prepared. He had spent years in the wilderness, protecting his sheep, fighting lions and bears. These battles, though smaller, equipped him for the bigger challenge. Similarly, your daily struggles, your consistent efforts to stay close to God, are preparing you for your giant. Embrace them, learn from them, and let them strengthen you. And then, there's the power of the right tools. David had a sling and five smooth stones, not a warrior sword. Your tools might seem simple or inadequate in the eyes of the world, but with God, they are more than enough. It could be a simple prayer, a verse of scripture, or an act of kindness, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts, in Zechariah 4, verse 6. God can use these to bring down the giants you face. Choosing your battles wisely is also crucial. Not every challenge deserves your energy and time. Like David, know when to step up and when to step back. Ask God for the wisdom to discern the battles that are meant for you the ones where your victory will serve a greater purpose. Sometimes the bravest thing you can do is to know which giant to slay and which to walk away from. In the heat of the battle, remember, you're not alone. David had the armies of Israel behind him, and you have the army of God, his angels, his promises, and his people. Surround yourself with fellow believers who will stand with you, pray for you, and encourage you. My friends, Jesus promised, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. 
as assured in Matthew 18, verse 20. Every giant you face is an opportunity for a testimony. Your victory can inspire faith in others, just as David's victory stirred up the courage in the Israelites. Don't shy away from sharing your struggles and how God helped you overcome them. Your story can be the sling and stone that someone else needs to face their giant. In the aftermath of the battle, give thanks. Acknowledge God's hand in your victory. It's easy to bask in the glory of triumph. But remember, it was God who guided your stone to its mark. Just as David gave glory to God before the battle, do the same before and after. We are encouraged in 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34, which says, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. And finally, let the slain giant be a reminder, not just of what you've overcome, but of what God can do. Let it strengthen your faith for the battles to come. With each giant you face, with each victory you claim, your faith will grow, your spirit will strengthen, and your heart will be more aligned with God. As we reflect on these truths, let's prepare our hearts to turn these words into action. Let's gear up to slay our giants, not with fear in our hearts, but with faith as our weapon. And as we do so, let us step into a time of prayer with the confidence that the same God who was with David is with us today. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, humbled by your majesty, grace, and love. Your power and majesty fill the heavens and the earth, and in your presence every giant trembles. I praise you, Lord, for you are my fortress and my shield, my unyielding strength in times of trouble. I thank you for your unfailing love, for the protection you provide, and for the blessings you pour upon me each day. Forgive me, Lord, for the moments I have faltered, for the times I have allowed fear to overshadow my faith. As I seek your forgiveness, I extend it to those who have wronged me, mirroring the boundless forgiveness you have shown me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that no giant, no challenge, no fear can stand against the power of your word and the strength of my faith. I rebuke the spirits of doubt, discouragement, and defeat, binding them in Jesus' name and casting them away from my life. I claim victory over every giant I face, knowing that you are with me, fighting my battles and guiding my steps. Lord, shower your blessings upon me and my loved ones. Protect us from harm and heal any area of our lives that is broken or hurting. Surround us with your angels and let your presence be our constant guard and guide. Lord, grant me the fearless faith of David, that I may face my giants with confidence, knowing that you are with me. Help me to discern the battles you have called me to fight and give me the strength to confront each challenge with courage and determination. As I prepare to face my giants, equip me with the right tools, faith, your word, and the support of my brothers and sisters in Christ. Let these tools be mighty in your hands 
capable of slaying any giant that dares to challenge your sovereign will. In my mind and heart, Lord, build a fortress of faith that no enemy can breach. Let my thoughts be aligned with your truth, and my spirit be steadfast in your promises. Guide me in wisdom, that I may navigate life's battles with discernment and grace. Surround me with fellow believers who will stand with me, pray for me, and encourage me in faith. Together, we stand united in your name, a formidable force against any foe. Let my life, Lord, be a living testimony of your power and grace. May the giants I slay bear witness to your glory, inspiring faith and courage in others. Help me to always recognize and celebrate your hand in every victory, big or small. Let my heart overflow with gratitude for your presence in my life, and let my words and actions always bring glory to your name. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement, knowing that you are in our midst, hearing our prayers and knitting our hearts together in unity and love. Together, we claim victory over the challenges we face, declaring your sovereignty over every aspect of our lives. We are thankful for your protection, your guidance, and the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. Mighty God, let our collective prayer be a powerful force, capable of slaying giants and bring glory to your kingdom. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.